Hi friends welcome back to my other Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial I am going to show you how to turn normal image to snow effect image in Photoshop. Before begin, don't forget to subscribe my channel below. And hit bell icon to never miss the update. Let's get started. First of all double click and select this image. And hit open. Cool. At first we create snow effect. So take rectangular marquee tool. And draw the box like this. Now hit shift ctrl n for new layer and press enter. Hit alt backspace to fill the foreground color. Cool. Now go to filter, noise, and select add noise. Here increase the amount of noise to 100. Enable Gaussian under distribution. Also enable monochromatic. And press OK. Again go to filter, blur, this time choose Gaussian blur. Here decrease the radius to 3 pixels. And press OK. Perfect. Now go to image, adjustments, here choose threshold. Set the threshold level to 105. And press OK. Hit Ctrl D to deselect the box layer. Also hit Ctrl T for transform option. And increase the box size by holding Alt button. Then hit enter. Cool. Now go to blending options and choose screen. Perfect. Hit Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. Take move tool shortcut V. And move the layer like this. Cool. Select the bottom layer. Go to filter, blur, and choose motion blur. Here strike the angle of motion. Increase the distance to 36 pixels. And press OK. Perfect. Select the top layer. Take eraser tool and erase the unwanted snow like this. Cool. Now go to adjustment layer options and choose gradient adjustment layer. Here open gradient editor. Double click here. Select white color and press OK. Open style options. And choose radial style. Enable reverse option. Increase the scale percentage to 221. And press OK. Decrease the opacity to 60%. Perfect. Now the time to add some snow effect to background layer. Select the layer. Go to adjustment layer options. And choose channel mixer adjustment layer. Here select the black and white infrared RGB preset. Now go to blending options. And choose lighten. Cool. Hold shift button and select all the top layers. And hit ctrl G for group. Perfect. Now the time to see the final result. Thank you and need your support.